Here we are. This is where they monitor and record all Dalek activity across the universe. This is like the Dalek Records Office. A librarian Dalek. That's something I actually want to see. There's your librarian. The visualizer eye. And you know what Stickler's librarians are? We need to get to the console so I can deactivate the security beam. Those data banks look like good cover. Let's go. So yeah, we've got to deactivate three consoles. And to do that, we have to play some more mini games. Whoa! Like the rest of the mini games, these are pretty simplistic. And unfortunately, rather slow. If you do get one wrong, the whole thing resets. But thankfully it's not that hard. As you can see. Whoa. Brilliant. The security beam is narrowed. We had better be careful though. The rate of its scan sweep has speeded up. Again, this just takes some patience. Almost lost that one. I made that mistake last time. There we go. And I believe that is the last collectible in this area. What are you doing, Amy? that it would be tougher to crack? No. It's the exact same symbols moving at a very, very slightly faster speed. The only way that I have failed this minigame is by being too premature. Just want to go now. That beam is moving pretty fast. It is, but we can get round that. It's not that difficult. Thank <laughs> you. 
Right. Let's see what we can see, shall we? Aha! That's the Supreme Council Chamber, all right. There's the Emperor. He is massive. Occupational hazard. You're sitting on a throne all the time, you're going to put on a few pounds. But that is what I'm interested in. Is that it? Whatever the Daleks used to wipe out the Earth? Well, if I was a betting man, yeah. That'd be it. That's interesting. Temporal coordinates. Interesting to you, maybe, but how do we get anywhere near that thing with all those Daleks around? Knock politely. What? Okay, so I believe we keep going right, or clockwise. Oh, hi there. Uh, Amy? Usually her pathfinding is pretty good. Well, she would say the person following you their pathfinding is pretty good normally. Where to now? Straight to the top. The Supreme Council Chamber. It's like it read my mind. Dalek technology. Wonderful. If only they didn't want to use it to kill everybody all the time. Halt! You will be taken to the Dalek Emperor! What a stroke of luck. Just the dictator I wanted to see. Speak for yourself. You will come with us! By all means. Lead on. Doctor! You recognize me then? I should save time. Have you got the first idea of what will happen if you carry on disrupting the time continuum? Daleks will be the masters of time and the universe! You have to stop. The laws of time can't be manipulated on such a massive scale. The laws of time are controlled by the Daleks! No, they're too powerful for anyone to control. You carry on ignoring them and time will fold in on itself. You will destroy the Daleks and everything else. Show me the source of your power. The Emperor Dalek does not obey orders! What use is power if there's no one to marvel at it? To quake with fear? Come on, show me. Scare me. Witness the might of the Daleks! Fear it! No. It can't be. What is it? The Eye of Time. More powerful than the heart of any TARDIS, more than the power of every TARDIS ever built. Harnessed by the Time Lord centuries ago and lost at the fall of Gallifrey. Lost? The Eye is a natural phenomenon. Some say it is the heart of time and space itself, the very core of the Big Bang. The Time Lords contained it in a powerful iron field, but when Gallifrey was destroyed, it vanished into the universe. The Daleks found it! It is ours! Daleks are the new Time Lords! The time Lords use their powers to benefit the universe, not to crush it. You were weak. Soon, throughout all time and space, there will be only Daleks! No. Your time just ran out. Uh, Amy, run. Exterminate! Get on him! Exterminate! Exterminate! Are you alright? Yes. What happened? Those temporal coordinates, remember? This is Kalan, just before the Daleks returned to it with the Eye of Time. But it looks like it will be coming soon. And it won't be long before the Emperor sends more Daleks after us through the eye. We have to be ready for them. What do we do? Set a trap. Before we do that, we have some collectibles to find. Some of them are fairly out of the way. Yeah. 
It won't take too long to get them, though. Oh, hi there. Even though the place is in ruins, there could be something useful here. Okay, let's set up this trap now. These wires should connect the debris to the generators and with a zap of the sonic, we should have our trap set. Then all we'll need is a Dalek, or two. Doctor, it's happening again. We've jumped time again. The chronon blocker won't work here. Just hold on, Amy. I can save you. I promise. Stay with me, Amy. I'm... I'm okay. Come on. We have to be ready for them. Okay, I believe now we can actually leave this area. Temporarily. The lift won't work anymore. Let's look for another way down. Stop. That's a Varga plant over there. These vines have a deadly sting. To get past, we'll have to time it carefully. I was kind of hoping that Amy would not bump us forward. Yeah, those plants, they are... They're not exactly a great mechanic, but they are what they are, I suppose. Okay, I believe that is the last one that we need for this episode anyway. Oh yay, another minigame. This should do the trick. Secure Kalan! Prepare to activate the Eye of Time! The Supreme Dalek. Who else? What are we going to do? We have to release the eye before the Daleks activate it, then the natural timeline will be restored. The Daleks don't crash Earth and Amy Pong gets born. Ah, uh, that's great, but how are we going to get past that lot? What? Like I wouldn't have a plan? Everything we need is in here.
This is linked to the eye of every Dalek. If I can reverse engineer it, we can interfere with their vision. We just need some parts from the production facility. Oh, I think I know what's coming. Could you pop next door and rustle me up a couple of things while I get started on this gizmo? What do you need? A cup of tea, chalky bickies? A Dalek gun and a Dalek eye stalk. I recommend looking for salvage rather than a live one. Yeah, you're so funny. Good luck. Let me open this door for you. Okay, so one saving grace is with Amy's magic trick. It didn't see me. Looks like invisibility can have its advantages. I better stay low. Oh yes, we do have some crawling Daleks as well. was lucky. Yeah, later episodes of Doctor Who, it's pretty much a one-shot kill if you get discovered. The last part is just here. I'm not sure, not exactly sure which is more of an of a inconvenience. These patrolling Daleks were those snapping plants. Oh, thank goodness for that. Doesn't really look like he's doing much. What are you staring at? Brilliant! You found both of them. Let's get to work. Oh, yay! As you can see, you don't really get punished for failing these mini games. Which is one saving grace. There. This will blind the Daleks, but its range is limited. Unless I can fit it into the cradle of the old emperor, 
That will take out every Dalek in the chamber. Doctor, I feel so strange. I'm sorry, Amy. We're running out of time. We can do this, but it has to be now. Open the eye. It's now or never. There's too many of them, Doctor. They'll exterminate you on sight. Give it to me. I can do this. You have to let me. That's fine. Thankfully, due to her invisibility, we don't have to be too stealthy on this part. This had better work, Doctor. Now, I've got to destroy those magnetic field generators to free the eye. My vision is impaired! Amy? Doctor? Geronimo! Ha! Huh. Now that's what I call door to door. Steady, steady, take it easy. I'm okay. We did it! <laughs> <laughs> of course we did it, look. This is Kalan as it should be. Ruined. Mum, stop being such a square, will you? It's only ten o'clock. I can look after myself, you know. So what if I am late? It's not the end of the world. Now, didn't you say something about meeting Ringo Starr? <laughs> 